Hey guys, this is Ben Morrow. I'm a senior concept designer and art director in the game and film industry, currently working on Halo Infinite. Today I want to show you guys some really cool stuff you can do in Blender using the EV real-time rendering engine. This is a tool I've been using pretty heavily over the last year. It's just sped up my workflow immensely and it's been really fun to use. And I just want to show you kind of the, the benefits of it on a couple scenes I put together. You've seen this Kitbash 3D library set. I think this is called the industrial set. But I just assembled a little scene, this kind of train scene with some photo scan people in there to add a little life and scale. So what I'll typically do on jobs is assemble some stuff, build it myself, use Kitbash stuff if it's needed, um, whatever it takes to get the scene together pretty quickly. And what's great is you can just immediately go into rendered view and everything's just super fast. You know, there's no lag or anything. It's just very smooth, very quick. And the benefits of this to me is before I would have to assemble things and, you know, wait 10 minutes for rendering to see if maybe I'm going to get what I want, maybe I don't, and then make tweaks. And it just takes hours and hours and hours to do. And now you just see the finished shot immediately in your viewport. And it becomes more about you being a filmmaker and a cinematographer and just finding really cool dramatic camera angles to sell the shot or the mood of the scene in the script. It just really strips away a ton of technical things that were getting in the way of me before. When I started, 3D was so slow and overly complicated and I feel like especially Blender and Eevee has just stripped away a ton of that technical aspect that was kind of holding me back from diving in and I just feel like it's really great time when I started 2D was much faster than 3D so a lot of us gravitated towards that but I feel like now is a really amazing time where 3D is catching up or much faster than 2D and I, I think it's just a huge asset for any 2D artists who have been on the fence for a lot of years like I was and I think it's a great time to dive in and and since Blender is free there's an amazing resource library community of artists tutorials assets plugins anytime I get into a roadblock the, an answer is just a google search away it's it's pretty incredible so this is just a scene I set up it's got the materials but I just want to show you the real-time fog which is something that's especially fun so normally this is set to object which just Whatever you click on, it will have all your materials and stuff down here. I usually have the shader editor down here. Some people like the timeline or whatever for animation, but I usually just leave it to shader editor. And if you go to world, it will show the, the world nodes. And I would just add a volume scatter to this and attach the volume scatter to your volume node. And you just instantly get some, some great real-time fog. Just so fast, all real-time. There's no lag. It's just... It's kind of amazing. It just feels like magic. So once you get the volume scatter activated in your scene, there's a few options to mess around with. Usually it defaults to something quite thick, but you can just adjust the density down here. Found usually around 0.05 is pretty good for my needs most of the time. There's also the fall off, which you can adjust as well to get different effects depending on your needs. But usually somewhere in the middle gives a pretty nice natural look. A few other things to consider also is turning on ambient occlusion. Bloom can also be quite nice and add a little more light reflection off objects closer to the light source. Uh, screen space reflections is a pretty nice one, uh, especially for reflections and things. You can see it's you can see the objects are reflecting the light over here, and screen space reflections uh, helps out a ton with that sort of thing. Another thing I would recommend is making sure to turn contact shadows on. You have to have your light source selected, and over here in the light settings, it adds self shadowing to your objects, which just helps make the scene more, look more realistic. Another thing I want to touch on was the shadow settings over here. Uh, by default, it's usually set to 1,000, which is, in most cases, OK. You can adjust this depending on your needs. It can go down to 64, which just gets very blurry. But if you have a huge scene with a ton of objects, I've had instances where there's just too much stuff going on, or the scale of the scene in Blender is too large for the, the, the shadow map, and everything gets super blurry. So you can turn this all the way up to like 4,000. It just makes really nice crisp, clean shadows on everything. But usually a 1,000 is pretty good for most cases. So these are just a few things to help get your EV scenes looking more realistic and natural looking. It is basically like a big game engine, but the trade-off of being real-time is just, just how fast all the renders get done, even if they're not 100% accurate like they would be in Cycles or Octane. However, the renders are more than good enough for most clients and paint overs and stuff. And 
a lot of the time I'm finding just because of that speed, I prefer to mock things up and use EV instead of spending a little more time to get a nice render out of cycles or octane where the results are, they are better, but I feel like the speed of this and Photoshop is pretty good for most of my needs. For me, it's just makes it super fun. I, you know, I pick my cool camera angle. I can start moving people around to get the shot or the scene, the mood I want, you know, moving lights around in real time with, with volumetric fog is again, it just feels like I'm playing. I'm just having fun and playing and I don't feel like I'm being held back by any uh, 3d technical limitations. I'm not waiting 17 hours for a rendering or something. It's just, it just takes a couple seconds to render out like a 5k image in Eevee cause it's all, it's all real time. The problem before was always if I'd have something cool to show a director, but now the problem is I have too much cool stuff to show because it's so easy to make. And it's more about editing down the coolest of all those things to send off, which to me is a good problem to have. Again, it just feels like magic to me. And I hope you guys will check this out and pick it up and um, have as much fun as I've been having the last year. So this is a bigger scene I made. I just wanted to show you like it's not just isolated to small scenes. It's same kind of thing, it just loads up super fast. You instantly get mood and atmosphere and lighting and you just get a ton of information. It just, it, to me, it feels like I'm painting with 3D. I'm getting my cool set together. I'm getting the cool composition I want. I'm just get my cameras set up and now I can just start editing and tweaking, like fogging out the set. I want a little more fog here. I want this shape to read better. Um, I'm not thinking about how many polys do I have? How many, you know, I'm just thinking about creating a cool image, which to me is one of the most exciting things the last year working with Blender and Eevee has been where I get to focus on the thing that's most important to me and not worried about some technical limitations. The more I get to focus on just making cool stuff, the better. So here are some of the final images I made using these workflows. Again, you can just see I, I set up the scene really quick and I can just get a ton of cool compositions to send off to my director. Maybe get the vibe or the mood of whatever this scene is supposed to be in the movie. It just really helps to pre-visualize everything and they can immediately give you feedback and you can just... Making changes is so straightforward and easy. It's just, okay, I'll adjust the lights or change it completely. And you can just see the the range of shots, the range of compositions. All these are totally valid for paint overs and uh, refinement based on whatever the client needs or whatever you're trying to do in your personal projects. Things like this would have taken me, you know, a week or something to do without these tools. And now I can do it in an hour. You know, it, technology is getting to a really amazing place where we can just create so much really high quality work in such a short amount of time. And I'm just really excited for the future of all this stuff. GPU rendering especially has been exciting and helped speed things up immensely. NVIDIA, of course, and their RTX cards have been hugely useful in my work over the last year. You know, renders that used to take me five hours on my laptop take under a minute now. Just so much time being saved that can be put into things that matter the most. And Blender and Eevee has been a really fun and exciting tool, and I hope you guys give it a try as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.